Today, I will do a little quiz and it will determine which of my favorite people among Disney films, the villains, which of those I am the most like. Disney villains, the best of the best kind of villains, and I hope to be one someday. A Disney Prince villain. I struggled. Just imagine like the first ever emo kind of gay main character Disney Prince who's also a villain and like does crazy things and is literally named Alec and wears eyeliner and is really nostalgic. That's my ideal, but we're gonna see what the alternative is here and what they're offering me from this quiz. What is this little white thing? That's gotta go. But yeah, Disney's like one of my favorite things ever. And I love villains because villains are always the most iconic characters who steal the show and drive the plot and make everything matter. And I want to be one someday. What do you want to be when you grow up? A cartoon character. So what about that undergraduate degree you're slaving over? Yeah, um, no plans for that. <gasps> so let's go ahead and just get on going with these questions and find out which villain I am. So these first three left on the column here, like this left column, those are like my main adjectives that I identify and resonate with. But if I did have to choose one, only one that I identify with the most in terms of what I would use to advance myself in the villainous world would be manipulation. So it would be my manipulative ways that do me the evil. This second one goes without question here. I have a literal tapestry identifying and marking me as the president of such club. So yeah, that's this one. <laughs> Except I would never like interact with other people in a public setting involving dancing and darkness and drinks of such because I'm not a spirited person, I don't like spirits, and my spirit mostly is within Disney movies and that's why I'm here making this quiz and not currently doing the partay. All these pop songs are like kind of icky except for Heathens, which is a great song. And that is clearly the choice. <clears throat> clearly, just yes. Oh, this one. All right, let's see. This one's kind of hard. I like a couple of them. I like a couple of these choices. Scrolling over a couple of the ones that I like. Enchanting sounds really dreamy, but I don't know if it's gonna work out for this time around. So I don't really know if that's what I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna go for the whole ostentatious kind of vibe. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll wear like a rubber duck suit someday. Like I'll do like a gender bend Lady Gaga kind of thing, like a tribute. Like all her old outfits, those are like, that's like my favorite kind of thing that Lady Gaga used to do. All those things. I don't know if she really still does. I haven't been keeping up with her. So I wanna do stuff like that. And I want to do like very crazy things like a whole kind of like tight suit with suspenders and maybe like sequins and when like it like my pillow how like when you touch it it goes and does the thing like changes the sequins I want that that's what I want like I want that in a lot of my stuff and I want crazy capes capes yes one of my powers has to be the ability to change my hair like to pastel colors, to black, and both, and just have whatever hair I want. Where would my lair be? Hmm. This is really important to determine. Uh, I feel like it'd be really cool to go anywhere else but here, because where I am is already in literal hell because I'm in school, and that's just the nature of school. So we're gonna go with where I am just because I'm feeling very down about that. And the angst I'm gonna have and do have from being here in literal hell, school, will inspire me and keep me villainous and also very vindictive and in tune with my corruptive spirit. All right, so in terms of sidekicks, I feel like I would want like a whole mob of really chic kind of robotic characters and they can't be too unique because I want to be the one to stand out. So they all have to be very the same looking. I want them to do my bidding essentially. So I want them to be very vicious and have lots of 
ways to kind of mutilate. I'm a pretty diabolical Disney prince, huh? Prince, ugh, oh, hear that. The original kind of idea for my sidekicks, minions, if you will, is a little bit more advanced, but we will settle for a prince. And this prince is of course going to be my love and we are going to make sure where evil is all evil can be. And I originally like these three. These are the three that I really enjoy. They're my favorites. I feel like Flynn Rider already has some evil in him and I wanna make this man my project. I don't want him to already like be kind of like able to do things and able to kind of like be sneaky and stuff. I wanna corrupt him and I want him to totally be changed by the end of my transformation and swading of him to the dark side. So we are not choosing Flynn Rider because I also don't want him to challenge me and therefore take over my lair in a literal hell and become the more prevalent character because I need to be that one. And I really like Aladdin too. I feel like we'd have a lot of fun together but we'd never get stuff done. Prince Eric is my go-to favorite Disney prince because I love Ariel and he's just the equivalent in a male in terms of that whole idea. And he's just also the dreamiest in my opinion. And also he gets work done. He does a lot of stuff on the ship. He can lift things when I don't want to. And he's very good hearted. So I wanna change that. It's him. Oh, drag. Here's my thing with drag. Like it's definitely cool, I like it but sometimes I get kind of nervous. I was like assaulted by a drag queen in Walmart one time and it was really not cool. Um, so I have like kind of a negative little start with them, but I'm starting to come around more because they're so crazy talented and entertaining to watch. If RuPaul's Drag Race is on, I didn't put it on myself, but it's on, I will watch it because it's very interesting. I just don't like all the cattiness and I also don't like when people are really mean to each other, like I'm not into the whole reality television, let's all go at each other's necks and like be totally rude and just not intelligent when we speak kind of a thing. So I'm not into the whole RuPaul's Drag Race scene. I don't really know these queens is what I'm getting at, but I Googled this one and I really liked her aesthetic and it looks like just from this one photo at least too, she's kind of the dark one of them like the one with the most edge. She does a lot of creepy drag, it looked like. I did. I watched like a video of her and she was like really cool and very just dark and creepy and creepy cute is the way to go. Sharon Needles, that's the one. Let's see who I got. I'm nervous because this is gonna set the standard for like my new movie. Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead. Hi, how you doing? You know, I could imagine that because a lot of the times when I'm speaking, I have kind of like a suave kind of pessimistic outlook but can manage to get it into humor. So I'm not totally surprised. That's one thing about myself that I could say is similar. We're both very hot headed and he's just really cool. And plus he's a villain. So you can't really go wrong there anyway. I am not insulted, but I still want my own movie. Parker. Look who made it to the end of my video you. Thanks for that. Thanks for sticking around. Seriously, it can be hard to listen to me talk. Suggest more stuff in the comments. Maybe give me a like if you liked this or want to see more quizzes. If you hate the quizzes, feel free to give this a dislike because I seriously like to hear what you really do think. Or you can put it in the comments, message me somewhere, anything you really got to do. Yeah, do that because I would like to know what you guys want to see from me and I will make more stuff. Also, thanks for your support again. Love you and bye. After all I've said, please don't